I guess first, just talk about um, the opportunity here. I mean, a, a co-main event, a big fight. What's uh, what's the emotion like for you in this spot? Yeah, I feel amazing. Uh, I think uh, the people here in UFC like my my last fight, even though I I lost, but uh, they like it. Uh, I'm a co-main event, my second fight in UFC. This is a big big thing for my career. Yeah. No question about it. I was gonna ask you, I mean, your first loss last time out, right? I mean, what does that, yeah. what does that do to you as a person, as a fighter? How difficult is it to, to take that first loss? And for me, it's, uh, it wasn't so, no. No, for me, it wasn't too hard. It wasn't too hard because I know I fight, I, I fought very well. So, and I think I'm, and, I did a good job, you know, and I had no problem with the the loss. Yeah, it was only like two and a half months ago, right? I mean, yeah. it, was it important to you to fight again quickly, or did? Yeah, did yeah, happen? yeah, for sure. Uh, I asked to fight uh, another Brazilian guy, Rafael Bebezão, uh, and Mickey sent a, sent a email to me, uh, asked me if I want to fight Jorge de Castro. I don't refuse a fight, so yeah, I say yes. For sure. Did you know anything about Jorgen de Castro? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I saw every fault uh, that he did. I know everything about him. What? Do you study everybody like that? Yeah, yeah. Me and my coach, my head coach. Very cool. So what do you think about the matchup itself? It, it looks like it should be pretty exciting, right? Yeah, it will be a war. It will be a war. He, has a, he is a striker. I'm a striker. So uh, I think it will, it will be a, the fight of the night. Nice. And last thing for me, what's the goal here? I mean, uh, you know, like you said, co-main event and just a second fight. Yeah. Is it just about winning or do you need to do something exciting, do something special with this opportunity? Yeah, uh, it, it will be kill or be killed. Your English is pretty good, uh, pretty great. Uh, is, do you, was that important to learn it moving forward in the UFC? Do you think, thank you. <laughs> uh, and can you repeat, please? Was learning English important to you to make it big in the UFC? Yeah, uh, when I was a little kid, my mom put me in English school. So uh, it was easier for me. So, uh, but in Brazil, I don't have uh, many contacts with the language. So uh, here, I... <laughs> I can get the rust off. Get the rust off, yeah. <laughs> entrevista do, do Jorgan para o combate hoje, em que ele fala que ele tem, assim, ele conta um pouco de uma relação com a cultura brasileira, né? Inclusive fala das novelas, que ele vai ser o rei do gado, vai derrubar o boi, enfim. Eu queria que você falasse um pouco disso, assim, dessa... Que para mim foi um pouco... A gente não esperava, né, que fosse ter essa, essa relação. É, é, eu tava falando até com o meu treinador, né? Eu tô achando ele meio hipócrita, porque assim que fechou a luta, ele postou foto na rede social dizendo que não apoia trash talk, não, não venha pra cá com, sua, com seu trash talk e tal. E ele que fez, eu tava quieto na minha. É a segunda vez que ele faz, se eu não me engano. E ele tá se chamando de corno, porque lá no Brasil a gente sabe que rei do gado é corno. Se ele tá se intitulando assim, quem sou eu pra falar nada? É, o Jorgen mencionou algumas coisas sobre a cultura brasileira. Ele falou sobre algumas brasileiras de soap operas e fez alguns puns. E... And he said, you know, I feel like he's a hypocrite because he said, don't come in with your trash talk and don't start talking. And, and boy's like, hey, I'm not saying anything. And he starts coming out and saying that. But, you know, he needs to check what he's saying because the, the mention that he's making of the soap opera in Brazil is, is kind of a, another way of saying that you're, you're cheated on. Assim, te incomodou o fato de você saber disso, assim, acendeu? Porque eu sei que você é um cara que você não leva desaforo pra casa, né? Não, eu tô bastante feliz com isso. Era a brecha que eu queria. Sim, ele está feliz com isso. É exatamente o opening que ele precisava para começar a falar. E eu acho que ele é até um pouco frouxo também, né? Não sei, meio bipolar, porque uma hora ele me provocou. Aí ontem, ele, antes de ontem, a gente encontrou ele na piscina. Ele brincou com a gente, falou e tudo, eu falei, pô, véio, eu gostei desse cara e tal. Aí hoje ele vai aprontar essa de novo, então eu não sei o que esperar, né? Se ele quer o trash talk ou que ele quer uma coisa mais pacífica. E ele pode ser um pouco bipolar, porque eles viram o outro no pool e ele pensou que ele era um bom cara, e hoje ele vem e diz tudo isso, então ele não sabe o que está acontecendo com ele.